Hey guys, welcome back to the Matrix Man Info and today I want to discuss um, Beyonce and Dixie Chicks that perform at the CMA's award, the 50th award uh, for this year and I always said music is the only thing that remains that can unite the people and bring us together but you can see at CMA that it is not the case. I mean, how does racism you know, play out itself um, through music. I mean, everyone always do cover music from every different genre and it is music, it's just like dancing. I mean, it's an art, I mean, it's an art that's supposed to be used by everyone. I mean, since it's uh, music that you cannot just assign just one group of people to. Yes, music in itself, like I said, all of the music that we listen to, even in America, I mean, the whole backdrop of it is all black um, in many sense. But I don't assume that we just go around and want to own everything. I mean, the whole um, atmosphere of music is for you to fully enjoy um, the music itself and the message um, that it contains. But like I said, we see with CMAs on the website and Facebook pages um, that went on to delete, uh, I think, 10 second, 5 to 10 second um, promotional video with Beyonce. And it's very sickening, the fact that, I mean, we see what's going on even with the election and the campaign there in America for the presidential election. And we see how much racism have played out through the whole campaign. And now music itself now, you can sort of see it display within the CMA. I mean, like I said, music is just music for one person to want to hold the music ransom as if, you know what I mean, Beyonce going to come and take it away from you. I mean, like I said, you must be traveling from some low self-esteem for you to be thinking like them because, like I said, you cannot stop one group of people from singing. I mean, like I said, if you can sing the song with the spirit that goes with it, then go ahead and do it. I mean, like I said, I mean, what kind of threat does she pose um, on the CMA? You know what I mean? So if music is just a thing that we're going to put it into categories said, okay, CMA belong to white folks and R&B and hip hop and reggae and other belongs to black people. Then, like I said, all of those music we can see back even with a psychedelic thing when you see Jimi Hendrix, I mean, tap into that. I and mean, he was the best of it as well. You know what I mean? So we can see different genre that we cross over and we do the same thing just like in a normal genre that we perform at our best. So, and the same thing like even in hip hop, when you have man like Eminem came through and, you know, established himself and also different um, white guys who come through and do the same, just like R&B, you know what I mean? So, you don't, you can't just hold it around and say it's a thing that belongs to us only. And then if it, you know what I mean, you find someone who does a great work or a great performance, then you're going to go against the person, you know what I mean? As long as they're not um, abuse the, the craft or the art itself, then like I said, let's come and share the craft or the art, you know what I mean? Because... At the end of the day, we got this as a thing called music, and it's a thing that we should use it to unite us, bring us together, you know what I mean, evoke the emotional thing. But for you to use it to evoke hatred and racist um, behaviors and stuff like that, then that suggests to you that even the very own thing that we think we could use to put us together, you know what I mean, have us to see things in one level, we realize that not, not even music itself can, you know what I mean, heal the people anymore. Because like I said, if it could heal the people, then why... CMA themselves would go and just delete um, Beyonce performance and stuff like that if it was a thing that could use to heal the people or bring us together as one since everything is um, not working right now such as politics, religion and stuff like that but the music could do a, a great thing you know what I mean if it was the case but like I said it is not the case so I'm quite disappointed to see this kind of behavior but like I said then again this these people are like I said they're highly you know what I mean challenged by the mind because they think everything that we touch we're gonna just take it over but it's not about take over it's a thing that if you're gonna share the music like i said then you have to expect that when we come through then we're gonna shine just the same way how you wanted to shine as well so it's a case where it's not about a competition i mean music should never be about competition it should be it should merely be about you come through you know what i mean express yourself um creatively and you know what i mean bring that awareness that the music um probably entails and if Beyonce do a great job with it, then what's the problem? So like I said, I'm a bit shocked about the whole thing. Leave your comment on the whole thing. So the bottom line to this, we cannot see everything as just race every, every time. Because if we do continue to see things like this, then what is remain of us as human? There's nothing remain because everything is just for this group of um, people or that group of people. So the whole race thing is, like I say, it will destroy us at some point. You know what I mean? So leave your take in this whole video. 
and tell me your take on the whole thing. So I'm the Matrix Man, and like always, think outside of the box. Peace. <laughs>